and welcome back to another vlog. So this weekend we are doing, wow, it's very, very bright. What's going on here? So this weekend we are doing something very, very exciting. I think I've mentioned it in a couple of previous vlogs, but we are actually heading to Bath for a lovely pre-Valentine's city break. Bath is somewhere that I have been before. I absolutely adore it. It's one of those cities that is just so, so friendly, so beautiful, there's lots to do, and it's quite a nice distance away from London, so you really feel like you're getting away. And we did actually plan to go around Christmas time, but for whatever reason, our plans got canceled. So we've rearranged for this weekend and I am so, so excited. We're going to the Bath Therma Spa, which if you've been to Bath before, you'll know is where they have the natural hot springs. So they have a pool outside that is heated by the natural springs in Bath. And you can also visit the Roman baths, which I've been to a couple of times now, and I'm just fascinated by it. For some reason, there's parts in history that I am so, so fascinated by, and the Romans is one of those, and the Tudors is another. So I have been to Hampton Court Palace, which was Henry VIII's um, house, for, I've been there a couple of times and really, really enjoy it. And the Roman Baths is one of those places that I just really enjoy going to. So we've got lots to do. We've also got some gorgeous restaurants that we've got bookings at. So I'm gonna take you along with me, obviously. I think it's gonna be too long because we're going for three days. Too long to fit into one big vlog because then it will be a mammoth one that will probably bore you. So I'm gonna split it into three different vlogs of each day and hopefully you'll enjoy coming along with us. We do have a new addition on our driveway. So we have been very kindly loaned a car by Vauxhall for the weekend. It's one of their new Mocha X's. It's a really, really swanky kind of SUV style car. So I can't wait to show you that once we load up the car and we're ready to go. And I'm really excited to be going if you can't tell already. I've got lots of um, new warm clothes because I imagine it's gonna be quite cold. But there's lots of really nice vegan and vegetarian type plant-based um, cafes and restaurants in Bath, which I wasn't expecting. Because obviously the last time I went was like five or six years ago and it's still quite a new thing. So I am very excited, if I haven't said that word enough already, to explore the city. I'm sorry if you can hear lots of slushing. That's the dishwasher really going for it in the background. But yeah, it should be really fun and I can't wait to take you with me. So this is our snazzy car for the weekend. We've got a screen, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth. And it's really high up from the road, which is great. And it starts. Looking forward to our weekend away. I am indeed, yeah. at a service station on the way and I've got some nachos and chicken fajita and David's just ordering his burrito over there and then we will be back on the move very shortly. We have arrived in Bath. It's a little bit later than we anticipated because it was quite heavy traffic but we are staying at the Seiko Apartments on St. James's Parade, and it's basically just kind of self-contained apartments. Obviously, I'm sure you've heard of the Seiko brand itself. They've got apartments um, all over the country. They've got loads in London, and it's really nice because you get a lot more room than you do in a hotel. I quite like it because you can bring your own stuff for breakfast, which is great because, as you guys know, I find it really hard to eat when I'm away, especially breakfast. And so we have our own little one bed apartment for the weekend, which is really exciting. I'll give you a little tour before we mess up the room with all of our various belongings. And then, because we need to be quite quick, we're heading straight to the bath thermos spa because we've got treatments booked. So we'll give you a little tour and then we'll head on out. So this is the apartment as you come in. You've got a living room 
here which is very big a nice sofa and a nice tv there i know lots of people who are working in bath and things like that choose to stay in one of these because it just gives you a bit of extra space to yourself than a hotel room it's really nicely decorated got a little dining table then through here we have the bedroom which is lovely really really nice minimalist but very pretty and very modern and clean You've got a tv up there a mirror a desk through here we have the kitchen which again is so lovely bright and modern You've got a fridge so in the morning i can can buy some almond milk and have my porridge and then through here is the bathroom turn the lights on in there lovely big walk-in shower huge walk-in shower actually lovely light up mirror me looking scruffy some nice little toiletries and i think that's it so we're gonna head on out now bath spa isn't that far away from here so hopefully we shouldn't be too late but we've got some treatments booked i'm not sure how much i'm going to be able to film in the actual spa because they don't allow filming and photography for privacy reasons obviously everyone's in their swim stuff so it's nice to have a bit of privacy so i will try and get a few clips just to give you a feel for it but i have been to the bath thermos spa before and it's amazing so fingers crossed i can show you a little bit and then we're going out to some dinner later so it should be a really nice chilled evening I'm very much looking forward to the treatment as well which will be such a treat so let's get packed up and then we'll go you better turn up you better be there when i shake watch me rocking if i can't stop if i should so we've managed to come outside to the private hot spring pool which is amazing so you can actually hire this bit for parties you can have groups of up to 10 people in here you can have prosecco you can have nibbles you can do it after dark and have the candles around the pool lit up so it's such a nice little place if you are planning a unique treat or just fancy doing something romantic i definitely think it's really romantic so we're just gonna have a little swim enjoy the privacy of our own little pool for the afternoon and then we've got treatments booked at 4 p.m and we're gonna enjoy the rest of the spa i can't film in the rest of the spa so i thought i'd show you this bit to start with it is so so Just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. So we had the loveliest time at the spa and we're now feeling very relaxed. We've come to a restaurant just around the corner called Acorn, which is all vegan vegetarian food. The menu looks incredible and I am so so excited to eat. And they have some mango daiquiris and bellini so i think we're going to treat ourselves have a little free valentine's date even though i have like really messy wet hair and not wearing date clothes but it's nice in here and have a really nice evening so i really like the look of the garlic dal with onions but to be honest it all looks amazing and it's very very exciting that i can eat all of it and this one looks nice as well, the mango daiquiri, but then I can't decide whether to have the bellini or the daiquiri. And I can't remember if I mentioned, but this place is called Acorn. And they even do a whole host of desserts, which is very exciting. Did you ever think you'd be in a vegetarian Never. restaurant? But the food does look, look pretty good after I've been spying on other people's tables, so hopefully. Yeah. Look and taste very nice. I think it's good to try new flavours because normally every dish is like based around me, isn't it? So. Yeah, I guess so.
is the leek and potato dauphinoise potatoes, which looks amazing. It's not vegan, but it is obviously vegetarian. We've also got some rosemary potatoes to share. And then this is mine. This is a garlic dal. So this is the macadamia nut brulee with ice cream and lots of lovely chocolate bits as well. So we're going to share this. I think it's pear as well on the side. Just here. Yeah. Look how cute all these tea shops are. It's so British around here. Lots of lovely afternoon tea and scones. There's a place that if you walk up here. Do you know where we're going to the Tesco? Well, I, don't, I do. I think it's that, that, that way, but I just want to show you. Oh, okay. Thing. So this is Sally Lunds as well. I came here last time that I visited Bath and it's famous for its special buns which are completely different to whatever you've tasted before. We might go there tomorrow if we get a chance. Oh, it's actually open for dinner as well. They've got dinner. So it's the oldest house in Bath, home of the world famous Sally Lunds. Oh, they've actually got some in the window so I can show you. So these are the Sally Lunds buns but they're sweet and people tend to have them with like jam and clotted cream. I suppose a bit like scones or a kind of sweet muffin. But we've had the loveliest dinner. I'm all wrapped up in this really cozy coat. Had the nicest dinner. It was so, so filling. You don't really think about. It was very carb heavy. Wasn't it? Yeah. It was nice though. Yeah, I had a really, really nice dal, which wasn't actually too garlicky. It said it was garlic dal, but I don't feel like I'm gonna extinguish you. What's kill the any word? vampires. Yeah, kill any vampires. So, um, where are we going now? Um, we're just going left here. I'll just sit in here for pictures tomorrow. Yeah, right? that'd be really right, good. Right, right. You've got this oh, thing yeah. Here, and you've got that at the back. Oh, wow. We're just scouting out some picture locations for tomorrow and having a wonder to get some breakfast as well from a supermarket. And then we're just going to head home, back to our home for the weekend, our little apartment. And, <laughs> and snuggle into bed because we haven't really done an awful lot today. We've just kind of been in the car and then unpacking and relaxing at the spa. But I'm really tired. Take that out of you. So that is what's going to happen. But I'm so, so excited to be in Bath. Really can't wait to explore and see it in the daylight tomorrow. So I don't think I'll end this vlog here. I'll probably end it when we get back to the apartment, but I'm not sure much else is gonna happen, yeah, to be honest. Video of that. Oh wow, just come across at Bath Cathedral as well. So if you're the kind of person that loves Christmas all year round, this is the shop for you. It's called December 25th. Obviously it's February, it's nowhere near Christmas, but the whole shop is kitted out in fairy lights, and lots of festive decorations. So we might have to pop in there tomorrow, although it does kind of feel like we've just had Christmas, so perhaps we can wait a little bit longer. So we've just been to the shop to buy some porridge for breakfast and some almond milk for the morning, but we've just come into the kitchen and I've noticed that they've actually left out a dairy-free coconut and chia porridge which is really, really sweet because I don't know whether that was deliberate because they knew that I was dairy free, but that's such a nice little gesture and I shouldn't have even bought these now because we've got a really, really yummy one to try. They've also left out some little alpen, fruit and fiber, some little biscuits, and then a coffee machine as well. So we're all set for the morning to have a really nice breakfast in our own little apartment. So I'm gonna end the vlog here now because I'm literally just gonna get into my pajamas and get straight into bed and just sleep because I'm so tired and feeling really, really drained. I think it's because I'm relaxed. You always find that after you have a little kind of spa day, you just feel so exhausted because everything catches up with you and you're so relaxed that 
you really feel the tiredness. So thank you so much for coming along with me today. I know not much has happened. We've obviously had a lovely dinner at Acorn. We've been to the spa as well, but I couldn't film too much of that. But you probably will see lots of pictures on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me already, I will leave my Instagram link in the description box, but I'm just Scarlet London on Instagram anyway. So yes, thank you so much for coming with us. Tomorrow will be much more action-packed. We'll be exploring the city, which I'm so excited for. Probably going to the Roman baths as well. And generally just enjoying the beautiful city of Bath. So I will see you in the morning. <laughs>